I would like to procure the bag. I want to be a rich bitch. Penthouse door man. Money, 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 rich bitch. Hey, hey, give me that bag. Rich bitch. You're so rich. Uh, pay me. Pay me. 16 going oh, on shit. 17, baby. <laughs> it's la, time la, to la, pay. La, la, la. <laughs> dude, dude, that whole song is so like, it's so I am 17 going on. It's like, bro, first off, you're both 35. Second, yes, that part, <laughs> and you also you in danger, girl. That's a Nazi bitch. <laughs> she's a Nazi girl. I know. No, I, I do love Rafi. Right, right, right. Well, but I mean, I mean, girl, like girl, because he's, he's. Oh yeah. He's oh yeah. And girl. I say that about everyone. I should have caught that. I call everyone girl. And I called someone str- like a straight male today. I was like, oh, girl, and he was like, Oh my god, I love shit, doing that great. though. I really love doing. They that get to so weirded people. out. They're like. They get so like, wait a minute, what? it's really, I'm so amused by that. Wait, I'm. What? This is probably also something I shouldn't get amusement out of, but I love catching guys on the sidewalk, checking women out. And then I don't care if I'm into them or not. I will check them out the exact same way right back. Uh, oh, Mother it's, Teresa, it's how really dare fun. you step into this podcast? Like, I know. I feel like I want you to do that all I'm doing the God's time. work. It's really fun, and because then they, when they catch you, which isn't, which isn't very often, because like they're they're caught up looking at at someone else, but like when they do catch you, it's just like, oh, it's such a chef's kiss moment. It's like, yep, that's right. You see how uncomfortable you feel right now. I don't know if yeah. you're smart enough to make that connection, but I hope you do. <laughs> I think they know they hate it, and sometimes they're so dumb. They're like, why do I hate a bigger person? gawking at me and making me feel weird it's well like right because that's, that the, that's the other thing too i'm enormous so like chances that. are i'm probably bigger than them too so yes you make a great mm-hmm. point having a bigger yep. i never even really thought about it that way i just thought oh about... that's all i thought as soon as you said you did that i was like oh my god you're the my <laughs> tallest friend of all time i love that for you no like, my li- my literal that. thought yeah. my literal thought was like a man checking out a man while he's checking out a woman but you're right i'm like four times the size of everyone so it's like yeah come at come at me yeah and then they get and then they might understand why like maybe when yeah. i'm walking down the street late at night and i don't even fucking know you don't let me know how you want to bang me or whatever yeah. you I, know? Like, I think i want to get on my way totally i think maybe five years ago i would have been down to like cat call them back but like yeah. now i feel like people have lost their hold goddamn mind <laughs> like, like if i do that they're just gonna pew pew me like yeah <laughs> flat they on the sidewalk you. and then it doesn't matter how big i am <laughs> like, they're you gonna, you're gonna get got gonna you're get, gonna got. get got. yeah no now i think people are so we were thinking i was gonna say this last night like i was on the train um for like this really interesting pro union we'll get into that um this was a great event but that aside last night was really cool and it's called curious elixirs and it's all non-alcoholic uh drinks that have adaptogens and herb stuff in them that make you feel like similar way without having a hangover yeah and they invited me and they said um it's expensive too which is like "Mm," but also it's literally tasty and tastes just like the real thing like cocktails like mixology like vibes and um this is not an ad, but it could be. Um, curious elixirs. Sponsor us. Mm, promo code bitch. <laughs> um, but anyway, they were like, "Yeah, we're doing uh, sips and solidarity at this uh, secret speakeasy in in uh, the city, and um, it's Club Curious. That's what's called because it's curious elix- elixirs." And they were like, "Anyone who's in a union in solidarity can drink for free all night and like get and and there's like food and there's like all this cool stuff." So it was really nice to be invited out there. And it was really amazing to talk to so many people who were like, this is so crazy. I had actually had a girl from the WGA um, there and she's like, I moved to New York and like, I started to join the pickets in New York and the pickets are lit out here, girl. They're They're so much better than LA. And I was like, welcome. "Mm -hmm." (laughs) It's because of that legend, Sarah C. Which one were you at? (laughs) Yeah. Did you hear a lot of you know, Beyonce and then my neck, my back, I want a fair contract. And she was like, I think I did. Yes. I was like, Oh yeah, my God, that's yeah. funny. My neck, my back, I want a fair contract. That's that's yeah. iconic. So thank you. Um, I shout out to Avis Boone for that one and me. Like we we have made our our picket uh killer. Like we always say this is the hottest club between 32nd right. and 33rd Street before noon. Yeah. So 
it was a really fun event. And I actually, you know, based on the communications I was just hearing, not getting any real insider information, even though I know all of the negotiating committee people, just feeling them, feeling them seem positive when I was, whether they were speaking to me about a committee thing or whatever, they're like, yeah, we're doing great. But uh, it seemed very positive. So um, I'm sitting there last night, like, oh yeah, like there's no way they would not, they would stonewall us again, the MPTP, because yeah. we literally are Much subverting them. Much to my surprise. Yeah, we're literally subverting them with our own contract. We are now at, like, I think at this point, like 1,500 pr projects that aren't them. We are literally walking around them. I just had an audition that you read with me for, for like another seg after thing. And like, I'm getting so many auditions without them. So like, hello. Now I know We also don't like need you, girl. Time. But, but, um, I get up this morning because Mike had to get up for a shoot. He produced a commercial today and, um, he was up at five 30 and I just, Ooh. once I'm, I'm not, I'm a light sleeper. So when someone wakes up near me, I'm like, and I'm up, I yep. need to do something, go back to sleep. Or I need to like, just like try to get back in the zone. But something told me to look at my phone. It's also because I'm probably addicted to my phone, but I it's looked gotten, at my it's phone. It's gotten worse, man. It's gotten worse. Yeah. It's. It's probably that, but yeah. I looked at it and I said, oh my God, an email from sag -Aftra. Oh my God, the negotiating committee. Oh my God. And to my fucking shock, literally, and I shouldn't be surprised. I know I shouldn't, but I literally felt so good going into this, like in a different way. It had a different energy. I know it did. I really do. To hear that they have literally walked away. That, that part table. was shocking. The walk away part was shocking. You fucking assholes. Are you serious? You just stonewalled. And so again, it's exactly though what, what is refreshing and not really, but what is kind of like, okay, we're not insane. We're not in a weird simulation where they just, I'm like, is this real people? Yes. This is exactly what they did to the writers before they finally yeah. met the final time. They kept doing this shit where they were like, yeah, let's meet up. Oh, you still want that shit? Bye. No negotiation. I know that's what this is called, but like, let's not do that. Yeah. It's like, but it, it's also exactly what they did at the WGA. So if they're just copy cut pasting yeah, what, what they, what they did, it's like, all right, well. You're idiots. Well, yeah. their whole playbook has been terrible. I mean, they literally are like, let's be likable. Oops, super villain. Oops, 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 oops super villain. Oops. You know, it's just literally yeah. like. It's like the playbook of like what not to do to look good. It's like an, it it's literally like, is. It's like, are you, are you serious? It feels so, like an episode of Gotham. It is an episode of Gotham. It's an episode of Black Mirror. It's an episode of, um, you know, Love Is Blind for sure. So, wait, wait, before we get too deep into this, I, we need to talk about something. I, I've been watching. I'm not a reality TV show person. Like Me I don't neither care. at all. I can't be bothered with it. I think it's just the the gutter of humanity. It's worse. But it's the worst. With that, and I have friends who have done reality TV, so I can't I can't say that truly. Same. I, we love, but I have been watching but this often. show called Naked Attraction. It is on oh. Max. Wait, 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 is... wait, wait! Naked Attraction or Naked yes. In Traction? Naked attraction. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, Ew. and it is literally, <laughs> it's a person who's like, I want to find someone, and okay. six people who stand in these like colored um tube boxes, and there's like four, three round, four rounds of elimination. The first round is they lift up the bottom of the screen of the box to reveal the naked person's lower half. And then it goes up to their chest and then it goes above their head so you can see their face and then you hear them talk. And at the end of each of those reveals, you have to eliminate someone based on what you see, based on naked attraction. It is wild. I heard about this. I was like, I'm not watching That's the bullshit. That is like body shaming to a T. And then I was like, well, I want to see some free peen. So we're going to do that because it is full oh. frontal. Everything is out there. That was my next question. I was like, are they really? And this is on, and I don't want to say it the is, network, but this is on. The it thing. is on a big streamer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know you said it already, but we're an, not going to bring yeah, up. An, an, art, an artist it, so. formerly known, a streamer formerly yes. known as. Um, as Hobo. Yeah. <laughs> rhymes with Hobo. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's wild. <laughs> and it's actually kind of fun. Wow. 
because like of they, course it they, is it's gutted like it's you unhinged. can tell you can tell that in the beginning the segment producers were like okay if you're gutted by our choices please say something nice about them because you have these people that like you can tell you can tell the person's okay. not into them but they'll say something mm-hmm. like oh they had really whatever nice whatever it is Balls. Um, and if they like it's so funny because it's so transparent too like if there's like a woman or a man picking a man <laughs> and like that person has like a smaller dick than like whatever they'll be like oh it's <laughs> like the it's like the shape of the pubic hair or something and they'll come up with some dumbass excuse as to why but it's like girl it's because he got a small dick and you know it yeah <laughs> And you're a size queen. We see you, girl. I mean, we see you. And sometimes they'll drop things in like, oh, I just use, I like the girth. I like the girth. Everyone's talking about the girth on the show, which like, surprise, if you have a big long dick, no one cares. It's the girth. Um, yeah, it's- <laughs> spoiler alert. Surprise. But um, Spoiler but, to like, the, it, <laughs> this show is wild. And you have, and then like, they go on a date, which they show. And then a couple weeks later, they reconvene and they ask him what has happened. And most of them, with some exception, have not spoken to each other again. One woman got into a full fight with the guy on camera. And like, and like the other ones are just like making excuses as to why they didn't hang out. It's so. What the wild. fuck is going on? I don't yeah, know if they're like faking gone. it. Our society's yeah. gone. I don't know if they're like faking yeah. being attracted to this person or like one obviously made the wrong choice. The one that I just watched the other night, like he went for what he thought was going to be it. And then it backfired on him because like you, you went for the pretty person when really you should have gone for the personality uh, person. If you're trying uh-huh. to get something like long-term and sustainable, but it's really I just love the moral that you took from it. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, that's it's veiled fat phobia. It's veiled body shaming. It's, it's crazy. But I also I just can't believe it was made and people signed up for it. I know, and I also it's, there's like three seasons. Like this is not what? new. <laughs> this, this is like I think there's two or three seasons up. It's like what the and fuck? See, and I thought Love is Blind guy, was gutted. This is incredible. <laughs> this is gutted. And then last Got night it. I was wa- last night I was watching it because of course I was, and it's like a train wreck <laughs> that you can't you can't look away from. Absolutely. And one 100%, of the guys. I can- one of the guys in season one that got eliminated because he had a weird mustache was now the person picking. He was like, oh, I've come back to like whatever. And he's like picked, he's like now picking the person that he wants to go home with in the same process. It is so crazy. And sometimes like the guys get hard on camera and they do like really, they try to be really tricky about like not showing it. <laughs> but you're I like, love how oh. they're coy about that. Yeah, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. you fraction, fraction of a second of a pain. Of a big but that penis. being said, how do you know if someone's, you know, a grower, not a shower? You know what I'm well, saying? Well, so- I know, I know, I know. It There's there's a lot wrong with it, but it's amusing Oh, wow, that's hell. really awful. It's wow, you had a hell. crazier night than I did. Shit, I was at Curious Elixirs. You're freaking watching. <laughs> I'm watching a British, I'm watching uncut cock. <laughs> oh, it's British? Swinging, yeah, I'm watching uncut cock. Of course cock it is. Swinging Never mind. around the thing. I believe it now. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I believe it now. <laughs> it's of not, course it's British. Yeah, it's it, yeah, yeah. it's not exactly BBC quality, whatever, but it, it's. No, uh, but. Go go watch an episode of it. It's it's worth uh, it's worth uh, the mm-hmm. entertainment. I'm okay. enjoying it. It's like there's a lot of like big titties flopping around and like you know oh. they and they get up close. I mean that camera is like this is this person's <laughs> genitalia. And it's like a good couple seconds of like up close and personal. So like the like, you can see the hair growing off their balls. It's crazy. Uh, but I lo- but I love it. <laughs> yeah. Cuz they well, do like they go through like- each one. They go through each one and they're like, this is green. This is red. This is blue. This is... And it's like close-ups of their cocks. And so like last night I walked out of the living room into the kitchen, grabbed something like while it was playing. And I came back in and I looked at the TV and there was just this big uncut cock on the screen. And I had a moment where I was like, oh, <laughs> oh not that God. I'm some kind of Pollyanna by any means, but. Not at all. Holy shit. Um, no one thinks that. Don't worry. Um, But I, what I do think. Thank you for the read. What I and, and the read, but also, uh, but when I went to London for the first time in my life as a as a as a teeny bopper, oh no, in college, but I was still young, you know. Um, I think I was nineteen actually. Anyway, I turned on the television and it was like all those like reality shows that we have in America, like go in that dressing room and try that shit on, bitch, and then she comes out. They're like, 
terrible, 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 da, da, da. In America, it literally was just go on that thing. They go on the thing. The hosts are like vamping it up. I'm like, I just hope she really takes to what I'm saying. Da, da, da. You know, I really like that. Blah, blah. In London, in England, I turned it on. They would show the person in the dressing room just straight and naked. Like actually like getting changed. I wonder and, like, what show that was. But the American version, it was like the same. It was like a show that was hot at that time. It was like um, what not to wear or something like that. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, okay. Like, but the British version was like full on nobody. And I'm sitting here like in my like hotel, like, I don't want to see that old lady get what the hell is going on? Not to shame any age shame, but I just wasn't ready. Like I got to know this mother from from Britain and she's from Dunshire and she's here to try on some clothes that her daughter told her to wear. And then she gets in and she's like, and I'm like, ah, ah. <laughs> I this one from ready. what not to wear to don't wear anything, lady. <laughs> yeah, what not to wear to like, damn, granny, I see you. It's just, it. and what's funny you know? about the Naked Attraction show too is like, you like see that person and you get to know their personality and this, that, and the next thing. And then you saw them naked. This is the complete opposite. Oh, you it's don't opposite. Even, yeah. You don't Look hear them off. speak. Like, that's the last round. The last round is you hear them talk. They usually ask him something like, what do you like about your, what do you like about your body? What's one thing you would change about your body? Something, well, where are you from? And then you hear them talk for the first time. And it's so I backwards really, and, and like whatever. It's so funny. I really wish somebody that had like whatever autonomy they had, like you see their what whatever their 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 figure. And then you're like their voice and they're like Joe Pesci. Like they talk it like happens. this. Like I would, it totally happens. Really? Okay. Oh my that. god. There's a, there was a guy who was like big and muscly and veiny and tattooed and whatever. And he was like, Hi, how are you? And it was like, oh, <laughs> Like the voice did not match the face, did not match the body. It's like everyone uh, stop doing steroids. <laughs> You're throwing everyone yeah, off. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, babes. You want but that actually, tea, please bitch. Stop doing, please stop doing but, steroids. Actually, yeah, that's seriously that's, that's killing people, and it's really stupid. And you have like pizza back when you do. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, pizza back, pizza face. Uh, pizza back. <laughs> I want my pizza back, pizza. Anyway, sorry. So talk about body shaming. Sorry, guys. Um. Anyway, so I woke up this morning. <laughs> transition um <laughs> woke up this morning to get back on subject to get back on the meat and potatoes but not the meat and potatoes you know <laughs> um woke up and i look at my phone and it says dear sarah and i'm like uh-oh <laughs> a message from your negotiating committee i'm like no no it says is with per- i'm just gonna read it because it's like they said it all you know and it's their words and they're the ones sitting across from it i can picture fran reading this i'm not gonna read it in her voice though because you know it is with profound disappointment, imagine I am, with disappointment that we report that the industry CEOs have walked away from the bargaining table after refusing to counter our latest offer. We have negotiated them with good faith, despite the fact that they last last week said they presented an offer that was shockingly worth less than the one they proposed before the strike began. These companies refuse to protect performers from being replaced by AI. They refuse to increase your wages to keep up with inflation. And they refuse to share a tiny portion of your immense revenue of your work that it generates for them. We have made big, meaningful counters on our end, including completely transforming our revenue share proposal, which would cost the companies less than 57 cents per subscriber each year. That they have rejected our proposal. That is, I fucking dare you. They have rejected our proposals and refused to counter. They just won't engage. Instead, they're using bully tactics. Just tonight, they intentionally rep- misrepresented to the press, they do this all the fucking time, that the cost of the above proposal overstated, it by, they overstated it by 60%. They've done the same with AI, claiming to protect performer consent, but continue to demand consent on the first day of employment for use of a performer's digital replica for an entire cinematic universe or any franchise project. The companies are using the same failed strategy, which is facts, they tried to inflict on the WGA, putting a misleading information in an attempt to fool our members into abandoning our solidarity and putting pressure on our negotiators. But just like the writers, our members are smarter than that and we will not be fooled. We feel this pain that these companies have inflicted on our members, our strike captains, IATSE, Teamsters, and basic crafts union members and everyone in this industry. We have sacrificed too much to capitulate to their stonewalling and greed. We stand united and ready to negotiate today, tomorrow, and every day. Our resolve is unwavering. Join us on the picket lines and at solidarity events around the country and let your voices be heard. One day longer, one day stronger, as long as it takes your TV theatrical negotiating committee. 
You know what I think is happening here? <clears throat> While you were reading this, you know, you and I are both obviously entrenched and pro-union. Um, regardless of how I feel about certain ones. But I sure. think that we, as a society, and we've talked about this before, about the campaign to villainize unions, whatever. We as a society have gotten so far away from seeing unions in action in an effective way. Yeah. That the people at the top have no idea how unions work. Yeah. Because it's been 40 years since we've had strong unions. You know, I mean, the police union, that's one thing, but we don't need to get into that. But, um, <laughs> but like, mm. the people who are now in charge of things, like, probably for the most part, are young enough, even though they're old, but are young enough to, to not know in a real way the power of a union right and so they're playing these games thinking like gotcha and like are you new here but like maybe a little bit yeah. because they haven't actually maybe had to deal with this in real time now of course there was the strike in 2008 and of course before that there was the one in like 2000 or 99 or whatever it was but like th that was like small potatoes compared to this a hundred percent. Those are different contracts. Like those were mostly commercial stuff. Well, totally. These, we're and dealing we're with talking. The, we're dealing with a totally different. Like we're dealing with the entire landscape theatrically right now and right. television wise. Right, yeah. and this and is street. like a this is a technology we've never seen before or really had yeah. to contend with or talk about. Mm -hmm. And so the idea that <laughs> that these big companies are just going to be like, sorry, we don't need you. We're going to walk away from like negotiating is a joke because for those it's of us who have, been, who have been in unions who are pro-union who understand unions know that like without us they will not win because even no because no matter how good ai gets yep. you're never going to be able to create the things that writers and actors create exactly you just can't there is no substitution regardless for human emotion there just isn't 100%. and on top of that there's like the energetic connection you know however woo woo you want to get about this but like there's the energetic yeah. connection about how we're all made of stars and atoms and everything and we're all connected and whatever that can't be replicated in ai so like i don't care how good the technology gets it's never going to be the same and if younger mm -hmm. generations want to accept that and they're like cool i don't care if it's the same you're old and you don't know what's going on cool, fine, I'm going to go sell my organs on the black market and go retire in, like, Malta or something. Sure. <clears throat> fine. But, like, I just feel like there's a disconnect between the people at the top understanding how the people at the bottom can kick them from the knees. Yeah, I think they just don't understand. I think it's true. I, I, I agree with that entirely. And I think a lot of it, too, is, like, this sociopathic behavior. And I hate throwing that around because I hate diagnosing human beings for whatever's <laughs> going on. But like we've said before, these are human but beings that don't deal babe. with people. Right. They don't deal with human beings. They aren't human beings. They are they are uh, conglomerate heads of Silicon Valley kind of heads of people. They're not creative people anymore. They're not like back in the day, like movie houses, they'd be like, we want this star. We want this, you know, thing, you know, even before like, uh, you know, streaming became so, so what it is. And they got to weasel their way into our contracts. And we just like, didn't realize how much was happening to us. Um, or we did. And we made concessions believing that residuals would stand in some way. Like they would never like hide numbers and be so shady bitches. Um, but I think, yeah, I think it's turned into more of like, we're the, we're the ones who are going to make superhero stuff. And we're just going to redo that. Or we're going to take those cartoons y'all loved and grew up with millennials and we're just going to make them with people or computers. And no one likes them. That's their idea of creativity. Their idea of creativity is a regurgitation of some bullshit. When in reality, look at something like Succession, where it had to be crafted by human beings. It was so unpredictable. It was so fascinating. And, 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 and the way it was shot was so beautifully done. And the way it was directed was so beautifully done. It was yeah. so, so much creativity. And that shows the power of it. And that's what's made them the, one of them, the one that sounds like Hobo, but actually now you sound like tracks. Um, you know, that that made you 800 mil. Not, not fucking look at my dick on the TV reality show. You know what I mean? Like that's not going to make you the 800 milli. 
You know, I mean, not to get off subject here, but I, I once upon a time, uh, showed my dick on the hobo, and it was not oh, yes, reality TV. Yes, I did. Um, you made tons need, of money on that, though. I did. That's I a need, real show. I needed money. Um, <clears throat> do I get residuals <laughs> for that? I don't. Damn. It's fine. You should. It's. I mean, I, I would like to think that I would get 67 cents a month or it, something. 69. For, 69 cents a month for that. Mur, 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 mur. Um, yeah. And I mean, I think of shows like um, Pushing Daisies. That show yeah. never could have been written by AI. Ever. No. Hell and people no. love that show. And it was canceled too soon. RIP too soon. Freaks and Geeks. Freaks and Geeks. One of my favorite shows of all time. Best pilot ever written. Just could not have been written by AI. So True it's, Detective. I mean, it's, it's like it's you just can't a do joke it. that these people think that they can they can make stuff like that that is going to make them the kind of money they think that they're going to make by using AI by using computer generated versions of the actors that they have been like hiring without having to pay them. <laughs> like it's and my thing is like let's all let's let's talk from a capitalist standpoint. Let's, let's all make that money, honey. Right. Like don't right like if if I'm happier. And I'm making a lot of money. I want to create more things for you, and I want to create like good things for you. Right, but from Your their dog. point, but from their point of view, it's just make me one good thing, and I will AI replicate you forever, so that I don't need to ma- have you make another thing forever. Right. Like, it, and it sucks because that's that's what they want. It's just that I think that they're overestimating they're their their product that they're going to come out with on the other side of that. <laughs> And in my mind, like, I don't know if this is true, so obviously don't quote me on this, but in my mind, I see them, like, tinkering and toiling behind the scenes on computers trying to write a series that's, like, even worth a damn. <laughs> and being like, oh, Yeah, that well, didn't that's work. why they want to pay that person board. 900K <laughs> to, like, make AI for them. Just have not one person. They're going to get, get, and just strap them to probably, probably the person's already dead. And there's going to tube in their mouth and be like, ah, and they're like, I made AI. I don't know what to right, they're do. Like, Keep writing. And they're like, <laughs> like it's called freaky thursday they're like that's already been made it's freaky Friday. okay but jamie lee curtis is in it yeah it wasn't the other one fuck you know and they're just like right, ah, but now it's jamie ah, lee curtis ah. is a hermaphrodite blah, 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 because they're gonna start going to the archives of page six and tmz yeah like, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, lady gaga just, lady gaga um, it's yeah. such a mess and i just i really just want it to be over oh my god that's okay so can i go through it's almost like today I went through like stages of of like anger, grief. Uh, I mean, of course, you know, that it makes just, complete like, sense by all means. I didn't. I wasn't thinking I was going to be that person, but like I woke up and I'm like sitting here like, oh my god, like my livelihood, the love of my life, other than my partner Mike, but I love <laughs> of my life, my my performance, things, the thing I've been wanting to do my entire life that I have done now professionally for years is so up in the air and yes not for me because i think we always create we're always doing something we're all blah, blah, right. blah. but the state of the industry the, the the beautiful dream the things that we put our hearts into and, and everything i really thought this was going to be the end and then to wake up at 5 30 in the morning and look at that and just like sit in bed and be like i have to go strike now i have to go lead a strike and be like energy and be like whatever right, be but what i and what I decided was just like anything else that I've ever done, the best answer is just to be real. It's always the best answer. I'm not coming in with some hokey pokey, like, it's all good, y'all. Blah, blah, blah. No, bitch. It's no, fucked we're, up. We're pissed. It's fucked up. So but... I, I wore my red, I, I, I found my red glasses, my only see red glasses, because all I could see was red. She was and lying. I went down. She was pissed. And I went down to that picket line and I literally got on thing. I was like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm fucking pissed off. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, that's not cool. This is not fucking cool. This is so absolutely out of line. We are not going anywhere. Nice try, boo-boo. You guys literally don't know what to say. So you just leave, bitch. And everyone was like, and then we just played some fucking really hard ass music, some lighter things. Really, it was wild, and we had the biggest turnout we've had in like a month. Oh, really? That's amazing! Huge Ugh. turnout. Are you going to be there Huge. tomorrow? Huge! And here's what I really loved: as we're doing it, people and like we, you know, we've always had this at, at our picket, but it was like another level of people just pulling over, and be like, "Yeah, 
fuck that? Oh, like going I in, like just part. feeling it. Wait, are Here's you gonna my be? Favorite are part. you captaining tomorrow? No, I am booked on something. I booked oh, damn. a gig. Yeah. She's gigging. Okay, that's fine. She's gigged. She's gooped and gagged and gigged. That's why I had you do that audition with me tonight because I was like, I gotta be up so no, early. No, I know. I'm, I'm only asking because I I'm not doing anything tomorrow that is on Fuck. site, and then next week I'm I'm all in office, so I can't go anywhere. Oh uh, well, don't well the way they are acting. Don't worry, baby. You'll <laughs> I'll have another that. dance. <laughs> uh, you'll have another dance. <laughs> but my favorite part also was that I don't know if you know about this, but Comic Con is happening. Okay. I did know that. Yes. Live. So every single character from the most obscure animation to Superman were joining us in line. Like they were like, hilarious. what's happening? Wait, you guys are still, they said, I'm like, yes, get in, get, just get in. Like we were like <laughs> living. Okay. It was so wild. Oh, that's so Everybody fun, was though. like in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was very fun and also invigorating. And like the staff were like always so freaking amazing and gracious. And I'm just so grateful to I mean, they were sad, too, because you have to think like I'm a I'm an elected official of seg but I'm really an actor. That is why I'm in the guild. But our staff works for sag So they're like waking up every morning being like, are we still on strike? Can everyone get paid? Can, you know what I mean? These are salaried people. <clears throat> and I know that's not their number one thing, but you could but see our you could see our staff members and these they're just so fabulous. And they're at the table signing people in and they're being I'm like, are you okay? And they're like, Yeah, but I woke up like I'm so sh I really and they really did too. That's why I know the energy was like they really did too believe we were gonna come out of well this because we are spanking their asses yes but and i also remember you talking to me last week about how like things were looking up there was a meeting coming up and things were looking good and blah 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 and it might be over by the end of the week and now to get this it's kind of like okay well here we go <laughs> he's a tired showgirl bitch like i'm i'm like i came i woke up i was like oh trixie get on your heels and get the fuck out there and yell at these hoes and i was like gosh I thought I wouldn't have to. Not that I don't want to. I'm here for it. I'm I'm here for labor. I'm here to freaking. I love that. Um, the auto workers, more of them, just walked off the job. I'm oh, proud yeah. of. Them. I'm proud to inspire other laborers and people that are being stepped on by jackasses who have no idea what they're fucking doing and yeah. making us have class warfare and making us put no money in our education and and mental health and just pad their pockets so they can buy a shitty boat for their ugly family. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck. You and your ugly them. family. Yeah, um, you're ugly ass. You're never hot. Why are you so rich and then yet so ugly, bitch? Right. Like, can't you buy Get a new it. face? I don't know. Get it together. Maybe they I should can go, help you. Maybe they should go on Naked Attraction <laughs> and try and find. <laughs> <laughs> and the end, they're like, um, I have $80 billion. And they're like, oh. Hmm. Oh, all right. Maybe I'll. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't maybe like I'll, what I'm yeah, seeing. Yeah, yeah. I don't um no i know well i mean it's it's just gonna be i mean look one day is stronger one day longer right so yep. it, that's just kind of what it is for right now and <clears throat> as much as that sucks it's gonna be worth it in the end because what we're asking for as we saw with the wga we'll get it because yep. they can't replace real humans <laughs> as much as they try you know like the deep fakes are still hideous they're you awful got, you got a long way to go until that's good mm -mm. Yeah, and also like even if you're deep faking it, what's the content? You know what I mean? I'll okay, de I've deep great. faked it before. <laughs> so have I. Yeah. I'm good at it. Just like time as, as we learned from Seinfeld, I, I know you don't like that show, but there there was like one episode where she Elaine talks about how she faked it. She's faked it a lot, and Jerry's like, "We dated. Did you ever fake it?" She's like, "Yes," and he's like, "No." <laughs> the boning, the panting, the then she's like, "Fake, fake, fake, fake," and he's like, "I've seen that clip." And like, yeah. It's great because like, it's so true. I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that, but. Well, you also um... don't have to now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pants, no uh, <laughs> never did either before. <laughs> Get a good vibe, y'all. Anyway, so. Anyway. <laughs> my point, anyway, <laughs> unhinged. This is the most unhinged. Uh, <laughs> guys, join us for strike coverage. That's very unhinged. For real. Um, but I, I think, you know, to conclude probably the strike 
ep that we're doing now that probably is the first one that should go up because it's very timely. Um, Avi. Avi. I mean, we knew that. Um, I really feel like we're absolutely, I know we're going to win. That's not the problem. I just really thought maybe this would be it. And if it's not, and it's not fine. I just, we're going to go to triple digits soon. We are on day 91. That's so yeah, shameful. By next week. Oof. That's shameful. Oh. Well, I mean, people it's not. People are literally not, it's not eating. As, people are literally. I know, it, but it's not as much as the WGA did. And so. No, like, not at all. Not at all. We're which subverting was also, them. Which like, was I'm still getting also auditions. shameful, of course. Which is also shameful. But it's just kind of like, you know, it. I know it sucks in the short term, but we have to look at the long term. Because even yep. if we simp for a paycheck now, the consequences no, of that ew. are astronomical. Astronomical. And yeah, I'd rather just not ever do that than than give up now. I, mean, no I one agree. Wants to. No one feels that way. That's what's so no. amazing. Is like yeah, you usually feel that energy. Like I've I've been to strike events for like other industries or like supported friends, and there's that whole like oh, uh, mm. but in ours it's like no oh, fuck you, no. bro. You, well, because we're, I think we're actors. Who's pettier, baby? Like you right? Wanna, Who you wanna truly? Ball? Who like, is pettier? But I think the other part of that too is that like we notoriously famously have it very hard as an industry in the first place and so if we can do something that's going to make it a little less hard for us and like a lot more lucrative down the line we're gonna do right. it and if you think that right. there's no holdout on that you got another thing coming you know i just <laughs> i just read coming. tonight before i left the office i read this thing about peter dinklage about how he was living in this like shitty apartment in brooklyn with no heat and no hot water and he was freezing his ass off making 50 bucks a week doing shakespeare and plays down in the village and Lord. you know like if that's what we as a collective community can endure then like the amptp ain't got shit on us facts and i so. want to say one good thing that came out today that's really fucking cool and it's about senators it's about laws oh i saw this um, yes so then because of our movement, the Senate is trying to pass a bill called the No Fakes Act, which would literally make what the AMPTP is trying to do actually illegal. Right. Which is Love. just that's the most so glorious such a vibe. slap in the face I've, to them. Uh uh the law even. <laughs> oh, shut up. The so law. It's the no fakes at law. It's called the No Fakes Act. I want to just so people know. Senator yeah, Chris do. Coons, Senator Marsha Black, the No Fakes app, Act. Act, sorry, ACT. Senator Chris Coons, Senator Marsha Blackburn, Senator Amy Kolbachar, and Senator Thomas Tillis today announced the No Fakes Act, a proposed bill creating new and urgently needed protections literally for voice and likeness in the age of generative artificial intelligence. It includes historic federal intellectual property protection against the misappropriation of voice and likeness, performance in sound recordings, and audiovisual works. It prohibits the unauthorized use of digital replicas without the informed consent of the individuals being replicated. So as you can see, it's, and this is their quote. For, oh, this is Fran. She's, of course, you want to say that. Um, a performer's voice and their appearance are part of their unique essence, and it's not okay when those are used without their permission. Consent is key, and I'm grateful that the senators are working to get performers recourse and providing tools to remove harmful material so they look uh, Sagar says they look forward to working with congress this is so exciting to finalize and pass this historic legislation we actually do have so people don't know this but a lot of unions and they should have lobbyists so they will go to congress and be like this is a human rights issue please help us or this is a da 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 please do something for us um and we have all of our all the lobbyists are there everybody's doing their thing and um it's just definitely, I think, going to pass, and I, it will destroy these assholes too. So, good from both directions, all directions. We gonna, love it from gonna... both directions. DP'd, AMPTP, <laughs> AMP, AMPDP, <laughs> AMP, TPDP. All right, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. take it, take it. Um, so yeah, this has been our really family friendly family friendly coverage. very straight laced <laughs> not intoxicated anyway. like, everything is great. white collar no one here is intoxicated mm -hmm. i am not drinking mm -hmm. at all no, for I'm those of you watching i apologize sure. in advance yeah. i i apologize posthumously to the um the queso that i annihilated earlier today that i was shoving in my mouth while we were talking about penises 
Um, <laughs> if you're watching, you know. If you're not watching, you missed out. Maybe. Um, good for you. <laughs> Honestly, good for honestly good for you <laughs> <laughs> oh heaven help um, us yeah okay. so i guess um well, we have we have other of... stuff to get to so we should we I do think this is so a good... yeah we'll see you on the strike line see you on the strike line see you in the picket uh and leave the money you're the so rich uh, pay me, pay me.